Hey everybody, it's Craig Baker here, and in this video, I'll show you how you can change the background in Photoshop to go from something like this to something like this really quickly. All right, let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Adobe Photoshop, and here's a bunch of different layers on the right-hand side. I've got another video on YouTube that you can check out after you watch this one. Stick around to the end of this video, I'll show you where you can check out that one. It's 30 minutes, and I walk you through everything step-by-step, step, everything from dodging and burning and healing. It's a great video. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video. I'll give you a link to that one. Also, too, I have a link to a lighting tutorial where I walk you through the lighting of this shot too if you're interested in how this shot was lit. Again, stick around to the end. I'll show you how to get access to those videos. They're free. They're on YouTube. All right, let's get started. So here we are. Here's all the different layers. Now, to create a different color in the background, all you have to do is create a mask for your subject, and then you can change the color in the background to anything that you want. And like I said, I have a link to that video that shows you how to create that mask and everything. Stick around to get a link to that video. So here's the color. This was how it was shot. This is the original color of the background. And then if I click here, this is the color that you see. Uh, this is in my portfolio. You can see this on Instagram as well. I'll put a link to my Instagram. That'll pop up. Check me out on Instagram too, if you're not already following me on Instagram. All right, so this is what we'll do. We'll get rid of this layer, and then I'll show you how to change that background color. So I'm going to delete that layer. So what I want to do is create a new layer. So I can even go up to the top. If whatever you are on, and then you create a new layer, it'll go above that. So we're just going to create this layer above everything. I can drag this layer around. I'll show you different things you can do. Now, the first step is to create a solid color layer. So if you come down here and create new fill or adjustment layers, it's a semi, it's a circle with the line. It's like a semicircle. You click there, you can see we have solid color. So once I click that, I can choose any color I want to choose. So if you already have a color that you like, you can punch in the numbers down here. You can play with these numbers, or you can just click anywhere you want and pick a solid color. Now you can also just drag this up and down till you find something that you think will work in your image. I'm gonna go like this right here. I'll just pick this, I'll click there, and I'll say okay. So right now, all we have is a solid color. So what you have to do is create a mask. And like I said, I have another video that shows you all these steps on the right-hand side, it's about 30 minutes. I'll give you a link to that in a second. So what we'll do is, since we already have a mask created, I'm gonna drag this up. So it's a technique you can do in Photoshop. You only have to create a mask once, and then you can use it on multiple layers. So you hold the Option key on the Mac, Alt on the PC, grab a mask that you've got created somewhere, and you can drag that up. I'll say Yes to replace this white layer mask. Now you can see it's just solid. And so what I want to do is I want to invert that mask so I can see my subject. So I'm going to hit Command-I to invert that mask. So make sure you're on the mask. Command-I to invert it. And you can see it's not a perfect mask. You can see we have some blue in her hair. So what we need to do, you can see the mask is black. So if you look over the left hand side, if you hit the X key, you can toggle between black and white. So make sure black is your foreground color. Hit the B key, that's a shortcut for your brush. So opacity 150 for our flow, that's fine. And I'll just sort of tweak this. I'll just go over her hair, get rid of any of these blue colors that are in her hair. You can see it wasn't a perfect mask, I just did it really quickly. So I'm just going to tweak this a bit here. And we'll be able to use this. A little bit blue here and here. And that's good. All right, so now we have that mask. Now what we need to do is to make this blend a little better. So if you look up here, we have a normal blending mode. So if we click on this, you can see we have a whole bunch of different blending modes that we can use. If you go to soft light, you'll see right away that that blends a little bit better. Now also we can adjust the opacity of every single layer we have. So I'm just going to drag this down to about close to 30%. So 30%, I'll toggle that on and off. And you can see that blends really nicely now. So if I wanted to change this color after I see how it looks with the soft light blend mode at 30%, all I have to do is just sort of move that around and I can create more of a aqua kind of look to the water. Now the original image, I save these numbers right here. I believe it's called a hex code. And if I click here and hit command V, that was the original color. Now that I look at it, I think it's maybe a little too aqua. I can maybe just make it a little more blue right there. And click OK. Now if you felt that was too strong at 30%, then what you could do is you could just reduce that to say 20%, and then there you go, you have a different background color in Photoshop. Now for more in-depth tutorial, I'll put a link below this video, and you can check out that video. It's about 30 minutes long, it's longer than this one. It'll take you through all of my retouching steps. It'll show you how to uh, do healing skin, how to do dodge and burn, how to do different curves, layers. It'll also show you how to create a mask and how to do this a little bit more in depth. And also too, check out the lighting tutorial. 
I'll put a link to those. All you have to do is look below this video, click on show more, and you'll see those links. So also too, while you're here, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Here's my Instagram. I'll have that pop up. Check me out on Instagram and also check me out on Facebook and Twitter. I'll put those links below in the description box as well. Follow me on those platforms as well if you want to keep up to date. Now, if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification. And when I release my weekly tutorials, you'll get an email update about those. You can unsubscribe at any time if you find that you don't like my channel. So there's no harm in subscribing, right? <laughs> so go ahead, hit subscribe, hit the bell notification. And if you found these tips helpful in this video, hit that like button. And if you have any comments about future videos you'd like to see, just put them down below and just say, hey, Craig, can you do a tutorial on this? Or I'd like to see this. Just comment down below. Let me know what you want to see in future videos. All right, thanks for watching this video. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. And check me out on other platforms, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. All right, subscribe back again, and I'll see you in the next video.